my beauties, Karen here today. Um, today I have a little review for you. Um, some of the products I have purchased and done hauls on, and some of them I have not hauled. Um, so let's get started. Uh, some of these products are going to be either big thumbs up, iffy, or there's a couple products that are a definite thumbs down. <clears throat> so I'll show you what I got. Um, I'll start out with an iffy product. This, um, now granted I love NYX products. This is the Smoky Eye Palette, and that actually came with, as well as two of the other products that I'm reviewing from the Parallel Worlds kit. This is a beautiful Smoky Eye kit, and that is what that looks like. However, and if it wasn't for the purple in here, I'd be giving it a big thumbs up saying I definitely would repurchase it. The dark purple, when you look at it, it looks like a beautiful dark plum. However, on my skin complexion, it looks like a dark brown. If I wanted a dark brown, I would have purchased a brown. Oh well. However, the rest of the palette's awesome, so I would say that I probably would purchase it again. Um, there are a couple products here that I would not repurchase. The first one, I was in Walgreens a couple weeks ago and I purchased this palette. In fact, I even used a couple of the colors in my last tutorial, or one of my last tutorials. This is the Bare Eyeshadow Palette. It was in with their Christmas gifts. Or their Christmas kits for makeup at Walgreens. And some of the lighter colors are absolutely awesome. It's the darker browns that don't show up. Go figure. They're just not very well pigmented. You have to use a lot of color for a very little payout. Which didn't really make me all that happy. But it was only $5. I had heard from other people that this was a comparative, a dupe for the um, Naked palettes. It's not. Unfortunately, it's not. Another product that I would not repurchase, and this also came in the Parallel Worlds kit, um, if not for the problem that I'm having with it, it would definitely be my favorite liquid eyeliner right now, but I think I'm allergic to it. <clears throat> I had put it on a few times and couldn't figure out why my eyes honestly felt like they were on fire. I gave it a rest for a day, used my regular Essence gel eyeliner, and it was fine. So I thought, well, you know, maybe I got it in my eye. So I tried it again. It did the same thing. It burned. Okay, well, I tried to use it for my leopard print, which I will show a tutorial on how to do that. I went around the spots with it. And within about a half an hour, I had a headache. Yeah, I think I'm allergic to it. If anybody has ever had that reaction to it, please let me know. Um, so now on to the stuff that I definitely would repurchase. The first thing is a hair care product. This is Moroccan Moisture um, Miracle Argan Oil. If you guys have never tried Argan Oil for your hair, definitely give it a go. Um, up here in Michigan, we've got the heat on, I have the heat on in my house, um, and this time of year, my hair tends to dry out. A bottle of this usually lasts me about two to three months, and this is my second bottle of it. You take just a very few drops, put it on your hair when it's wet, and then I blow dry it. 
And then to finish up, I put a little bit more on my ends and then just work it up the surface of the hair. You don't want to use too much of this though because your hair will look greasy. So, yeah, that's my hair care item. <coughs> this is my absolute favorite liquid eyeliner. This is the e.l.f. Um, liquid eyeliner. And I have used this quite a few times. And this is not black. I was looking at it and looking at it and I'm like, it's got a blue fleck to it. This is Midnight, and it looks absolutely gorgeous with, say, gold look. This will be the liquid eyeliner when I do my leopard tutorial. This will be the eyeliner that I use. Um, a couple of NYX products that I would definitely repurchase. This, again, came with the Parallel Worlds kit. This is a nice blush, and this one is called Pinched, and it's a gorgeous pink blush, but it has a little bit of a gold undertone. Very pretty. I wear that quite a bit. This came in a five-piece, I'm sorry, six-piece kit that my husband got me for my birthday. Um, it was all jumbo pencils, and this one has become my favorite besides milk, besides the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. I use this one pretty much if I'm going to do a neutral eye. I used it today. Um, so, yeah. Um, another thing that I would definitely repurchase, the NYX Nail Polishes. They are absolutely awesome. Again, this was another birthday gift. Um, like I said in my last video, I did my mom's nails, and she wanted this sparkle pink right here used. It took two coats, and that was without a base coat, for it to be opaque enough. Very nice. I have tried some of them. I have tried the Gentleman Prefers Red, Bone White, uh, Regular White, uh, cloudy, which is a beautiful gray, the black, um, the pink, and the red so far, the red glitter down on the bottom. So, and I can definitely say I love them. Unfortunately, the bottles are really small. I'm afraid I'm going to use them up too fast. Another nail thing that I really like, this is my second bottle of Sege Vite. This is my absolute favorite top coat. Um, I used to use the Sally Henson um, strengthening top coat. And that worked, that worked pretty well. That was what I swore by for quite a few years until I tried this. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite top coat. It's definitely worth the money that you spend on it, I think. Um... <coughs> A bottle of this is either eight or nine dollars. I know you can find it cheaper, but I get mine at Ulta. So yeah. Um, a couple of eyeshadow palettes that I would repurchase. I hauled this one over the summer. I have used this in some tutorials. This is the Ulta Resort to the Tropics palette, and I have showed this in a few videos. I like that palette so much. Then I went back and I purchased the fall for these shades a couple months ago. And that is what that one looks like. The colors are well pigmented. They go on nice and creamy. They're beautiful. Yada, yada, yada. Can't say enough good stuff about these two palettes. They're my two of my absolute favorite ones. Um... My last palette that I'm going to show you would definitely be a repurchase. Um, this one is the our Lorac Solid Gold Palette. And I did review this, or haul this in my last video. But that is what that looks like again. I am going to do a tutorial using this palette. 
probably tomorrow. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> there is a platinum palette as well that has some more smoky colors as well as some purples. Um, and my husband told me if I liked this palette, that would probably be a good stocking stuffer for me, so I told him I like it, so yay! So anyways, um, please thumbs up this video, comment, subscribe, I love hearing from you guys, and like I said about the NYX uh, Studio Liquid Eyeliner, let me know if anybody else has had that reaction, because yay, I'm just crazy. <laughs> Who knows? Um, so anyways, yeah, thumbs up the video, comment, subscribe. You can also follow me on my social networks, which are Google+, Facebook, and Instagram. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye now!